Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear what ISC um, and the Wrong Alliance have. All right, everyone, I'm Kill2. This is uh, middle of the day, Alliance Tournament 8 on day two qualifiers. I'm here with Angel Hun. We're looking at IEC versus the Wrong Alliance. IEC brought a couple Vagabonds, something new, with three Cinnaballs, a Hugin, a Scimitar, a Saber, and a Thrasher. And from the Wrong Alliance, we have three Nighthawks, three Drakes, one Dreamil, and three Stilettos. Definitely taking advantage of that uh, rule of three. Um, looks like a missile spamming team versus a speed team. Let's see how they fare. Yeah, and probably noticing the ships they're going to be up against on scan. IEC have warped to zero on the beacon, so they're really close. They're actually like extremely close to the the tacklers for uh, the wrong alliance, and and uh, you know 40 or 50k to the Nighthawks and Drakes, which have warped to maximum range on the beacon. So we're rolling now, and those stilettos. Um, of the wrong alliance are really right in the mix there with with all of this uh, uh, IC team right off the bat. And we're seeing dozens, uh, at least a dozen and a half of uh, Warrior 2s just blazing from the wrong alliance towards the towards the IAC team. We've already lost the Dramiel for the wrong alliance. We're about to lose one stiletto and quickly followed by another. Uh, it looks like the speed team seems to be uh, seems to be holding their own. Let's see how those missiles do against the larger ships like the Sinoball and Sinoballs and Vagabonds. Yeah, and we did lose a Saber on the IAC side, but other than that, they're in good shape and they've taken out all but one of the Tacklers for the wrong alliance. So pretty soon here we'll get to the meat of this and figure out how the Drakes and Nighthawks are going to do against Cinnaballs and Vagabonds. And it looks like really well for the Nighthawks and Drakes, the Scimitar, um, for IEC down already a really awesome amount of damage once they switched targets there and went for that ship. So uh, we'll have to see where they go from here, but this is not looking good already for IEC. It's bad, bad, bad to lose your logistics off the bat like that. I mean, that was a huge uh, missile swarm that just hit that scimitar all at once. It went from full shields to uh, half structure in one hit. Um, re either very well timed or just very lucky. Um, either way, it looks like we are quickly losing ships for the uh, IAC team at, while the uh, while the wrong alliance seems to be holding on quite well uh, with their heavy tanked missile spammers. I'm not really sure if that Hugin was one of the most important ships uh, maybe to counter other speed speed uh, fits but not necessarily against this slow missile team. Uh, it looks like this one of the stilettos is left alive and the first signable is about to fall. Wow yeah Drake's doing really well in this match along with those Nighthawks. I kinda like the three Nighthawks there uh... They're like big, uh, big, awesome drakes. Um, yeah, I don't know about the Hugin either. I think that's kind of an interesting choice. It definitely helps you if you're running into, um, you know, some really obnoxious frigs that you need to lock down. But um, I don't know why you would really have trouble with that anyway if you've got Cinnaballs and Vagabonds. So it's a lot of points devoted to something that really didn't fill a role in this match. And in my opinion, probably wouldn't have... Um, had too much application in most matches in this tournament, so um, I don't know. I don't know if it would have made any difference to replace it with something else, though. Hugins can still do a little bit of damage and moves around like a Vagabond, or not like a Vagabond, but can still get around like uh, other Minotaur ships, so we are going to lose one Drake at least on the wrong alliance side, but for now that's it, and uh, only three ships left for IC. I mean, the, this uh, Kaldari fit, uh, missile spam fit, is actually really one of the best counters to an all-speed Matari fit, as the one of the lowest resistances, especially on the T2 hulls for Mimitar ships, is kinetic damage, and Kaldari do often receive a kinetic missile bonus, especially on the Nighthawk and the Drake, so it is uh, probably one of the worst draws they could have had, uh, totally unprepared for this fit. Uh, the Hugin may have had ut other applications in other matches, but really uh, nothing nothing to be said for them here. And it looks like that last that Drake uh, is holding on in structure. Maybe the Vagabond will, will be able to finish it off and get their get IAC some points, but uh, nope, it doesn't look like it. The all Drakes and Nighthawks have survived. Victory to the wrong alliance. Back to you, Soundwave. Hero Drake. Thank you very much, guys. That was uh, a pretty convincing uh, win by, uh, in the situation, the right alliance. Uh, we will be back with Ivy League versus Solo Fleet at 1700 EVE. Uh, back to, yep.